Hey, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to convert your PS3 CEX system to a DEX system uh, running the latest 4.81.2 rebug firmware. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, open rebug toolbox and uh, if you haven't already toggle the QA from enabled uh, from disabled to enabled rather. So that's at the far right. Enable that you may need to restart your console. Uh, once that's done, so this console has been enabled, QA toggle and restart it already. So the next step I'm going to do is, um, it's a good idea to back up your um, flash to your USB. I of course I already have a uh, copy of this, and uh, just in case anything goes wrong, you know, like if you lose any information, you have this. So this 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 right here. Is your fail safe? You, if you have this backup, you could start messing around with your PlayStation. But make sure it's it's uh, properly copied as well. So when you do dump it, just double check it. I, of course, I just uh, patched and, and jailbroke this console, so I have that from my E3 flasher. Okay, so the the really the next step is to dump EID root key and. Um, uh, yeah, so let's. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, let's dump the EID root key. It says it wants to dump to the internal drive. Normally, I want it to dump to the uh, USB, but that's fine. Okay, let's. It wants to dump internal. Okay, let's dump that. I think I thought it uh, normally dumped to the USB, but okay, if it wants to dump to the internal drive that's fine and then we're gonna toggle a couple more settings in rebug toolbox after it restarts so just to mention again I'm already running rebug uh, rex 4.81.2 firmware and back we go back into rebug toolbox Toolbox. Oops. And so the next thing we go in the CEX to DEX area and we what do we want to do? Convert PS3 to CEX DF. Okay, so first let's just double check system information. We have CEX level 2 kernel and target type CEX. So let's change the CEX target type and the level 2 kernel. So let's change the kernel. Okay, okay, so first we have to rewrite target and flash. So we first rewrite target and flash and then we swap the kernel. Found EID root key. Do you want to automatically convert? Yeah. Okay, and let's double check here system information. Our target type is DEX now. Okay, so let's swap the level 2 kernel. Swap. Okay. System restart is required. Press OK to reboot. Okay, so that that changes the the necessary uh, information on our flash so that uh, we can install Dex. Essentially, what we're doing is we're patching the flash, the NOR or the NAND. And then uh, once it reboots, what we're going to do is with our USB stick, we're going to manually install the DEX firmware. So what? Uh, Really, you should do. Let's let's double check. Let's let's be safe here. So let's open Rebug Toolbox and let's just verify exactly what we did before we start uh, trying to install anything else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we go to System Information, and we want to see that the Level Two kernel as well as the target type are both DEX, and the PS3 system firmware is 4.81 DEX. So let's quit, and as a final step, let's install the DREX firmware. Uh, so that is the DREX 4.81.2 rebug firmware. Going from 4.81.2 Rex firmware.
yeah. The rest, you know what this is all about. Once we get out of here, uh, it's going to be very much the same uh, environment that you're used to. And um, I guess that's, uh, let's just cut it there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.